do you secure business funding even if you have bad personal credit? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to decode today. Surprisingly, there's a ton of great funding options for you if you have bad personal credit. And today, I'm going to decode all of those for you. You're going to walk out of this training with a lot of different options for you to be able to fund your business, even if you're just getting started, even if you have credit issues. We got a lot to cover, so let's dive in. Look, bad personal credit does not have to prevent you from getting business funding. As a matter of fact, most business funding that exists today isn't even based on personal credit quality. So let's break it down. When we look at getting you the most money for your business, even if you have bad credit, you need to know about the three C's cash flow, credit, and collateral. Look, these are the three things that most lenders are looking for. And the good news is, if you don't have good personal credit, you still may have cash flow or collateral, so let's start there. So if your business has six months or more of consistent cash flow, then there's a good chance you can get approved for funding right now. Now, there's multiple different types of funding you can qualify for, like merchant cash advances or business revenue lending, even if you have as little as $5,000 a month in revenue and six months' time in business. Now, let's not forget about PayPal, Square, and Stripe. If you're running your customers' money through any of those sources, they have some of the easiest to qualify for loans that exist today. I mean, they don't even care about personal credit. They don't even do personal credit checks. A lot of times, they don't even charge you interest. They just charge you like a small fee to get money. And they'll lend you as much as 30% of the actual money you're processing through those platforms. So let's not forget about PayPal, Square, Stripe, revenue lending, merchant cash advances. There's even credit lines that you're able to get as well. So places like Fundbox or Bluevine will actually give you money if you have six to 12 months worth of revenue for your business. So if you're generating like 5,000 a month or more, then there's a good chance you can get an easy to qualify for credit line from either one of those sources as well. Now let's say you don't have cash flow. Let's say you're just launching a business and you don't have six months worth of cash flow, no worries. Now we're gonna start looking at collateral-based financing. And collateral-based financing is all about getting money using some kind of asset that you own as leverage, as collateral. So there's a lot of different types of assets that may work, stocks, bonds, 401ks, IRAs. You can get as much as 90 or even 100% of the value of those assets. And here's the great news, they don't even have to be yours. They can be a family member, a friend, another investor. So you're able to use the securities, the 401 401k and IRA of somebody else or yourself in order to get approved. Let's look at business assets. Maybe you have e-commerce inventory or regular other type of inventory. Maybe you have equipment. All of those things can be borrowed against in order to get money as well. We can also use commercial real estate, residential real estate, vehicles, even cryptocurrency. Look, almost every type of asset that you own can be leveraged as some type of collateral to get business financing. So you want to really do a hard look at the assets you have and the assets maybe others have around you that may be available because maybe they're willing to pledge those assets so you can get funding and I don't know, they earn an interest rate return or even have a small stake in your business. You give them a little bit of ownership equity, right? So a lot of different options to get this done. Now, let's say you don't have cash flow, credit, or collateral. No worries. There's still a lot of financing that you're able to get, even if you have bad credit. So we can look at grants. There's federal grants. There's state grants. There's local community grants. There's even grants from private organizations. We can also look at crowdfunding. There's a lot of different kinds of crowdfunding. There's actually six different types of crowdfunding. Crowdfunding you can use for real estate. Crowdfunding that you can use to go woo private investors. A reward rewards-based crowdfunding like Kickstarter or Indiegogo that we're used to. So crowdfunding is a great option for you to be able to get the funding you need to grow your business as well. But maybe none of this works. Maybe you don't want to take on any debt at all. Well, then we can look at equity financing, right? We have angel investors. We have venture capitalists. These are private investors that will take a small ownership interest in your business in exchange for the money. It's not even debt that has to be paid back. And let's not forget about peer-to-peer -peer lending. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is basically where you're raising money from your peers using a platform like Prosper or Lending Club. So there's all types of these options out there. What's nice about these options is that if your business isn't generating revenue yet, a lot of them offer business loans and personal ones. So what that means is it means if your business isn't generating revenue, they can go off your personal income in order to approve you. And they're usually very easy to get. I mean, you could typically get approved and funded in as little as four days just by actually applying with one of these type of sources. And let's not forget about my absolute favorite way to fund your business, which is business credit. And I love business credit because business credit doesn't require cash flow, credit, or collateral, and it's unlimited. 
Unlike a loan or a credit line where you have a limit on how much you're approved for, business credit's unlimited. You can come out and get business credit card after card after card after card at almost every major retailer in the country, Visa cards, MasterCards, Amex. There's no limit to the amount of business credit you can get. As a matter of fact, a lot of our clients that even have credit issues, severe credit issues, have already secured over a million dollars in funding just using business credit. Not only do they fund their primary business, but a lot of them created second or even third businesses using business credit to do so. So business credit is something you should be building right from the beginning of starting your company. And in doing so, you can start to get 10, 20, $30,000 limit credit cards within like two to three months. So let's not forget about that powerful way for you to be able to get the money you need, even if you have credit issues. And there you have it. Those are some of the best options for you to be able to get the funding you need, even if you have credit issues. So if you want to learn more, go to creditsuite.com forward slash consult. And at creditsuite.com forward slash consult, you get a free finance assessment with our team. Look, our team will tell you all the funding you can get right now. Imagine that, like a short phone call and they start telling you about all these different funding options you probably didn't even know existed that you're able to tap into right now. They'll give you tips and tactics to build your business credit. They'll even tell you about fundability issues that would get you denied and what to fix to give you the best chance of getting approved. So check it out right now at creditsuite.com forward slash console. And if you got value from this training, make sure you like and subscribe and keep your eye out for our next training where we talk about more cool ways to get the money you need to start and grow your business.